Hey guys, Spencer at Z1. Today we're in the shop, gonna take a look at our newest product, Z1's forged aluminum front upper control arms. The kit in front of me is actually for the new Z. We have offerings as well for 370Z, G37, Q50, and Q60 that are in this line. Um, we brought a lot of the features we loved from our previous generation of control arms into these, but we did a lot of updates to mirror some of the things from the OEM product that we loved so much, and we're gonna cover all that today. You may have caught on there. If you're familiar with our parts before, we had a very great set of control arms that have been, you know, weldment uh, produced for years, just out of a tubular chromoly steel. Very strong, very reliable. They don't get knocked out of adjustment like types that have slides. Clearance is pretty good and very affordable. Uh, the thing, you know, we obviously understood for years is that the feedback from our community was they were looking for things that were easier to install or adjust. Well, install is about the same, but the adjustment is much easier on our new arms. Uh, so we took all the stuff that we loved about <coughs> the previous version, and that's that we had the adjustment ranges we wanted to get the ideal amount of negative or positive camber, have the ability to adjust for caster where appropriate, and we didn't want to lose the features we had before, which was offering the control arms with a street or a race configuration. So that's something we've had for years and we'll go through that real quick. So in our street configuration, every set of arms will get this 4130 uh, forged steel end. It's like a really nice housing. There's no welded piece here to, to have like corrosion or something come in as a weak point. Uh, these are really nice to hold a super tight tolerance and we just don't have issues with them. So very, very nice piece. Um, these all come with a Zerk fitting for greasing the urethane bushings that are there. And um, ideally you would want to run like a, a marine grade grease or something with the urethane bushing. So very nice piece. You can use these in the arms, say uh, available as a street uh, configuration. Those will give you the most range in the positive direction, uh, but not as much in the negative direction compared to our race ends, which feature a similar fitted size, uh, solid spherical joint. These are tough on lined. We put this weather boot on them. They get nice CNC spacers to locate them. But same thing, they're gonna fit into our new arms uh, last few years. A little bit more noise on these, um, but not much. I, I'm hesitant and I try to be overly disclaiming most days uh, with customers about uh, the parts and the noise. They do have a little bit more, but it's not significant um, compared. You, you do get a, a hair more road noise and over big impacts or something, sure, maybe a little bit back more through the car. The trade-off though and the positive that you get with the racing, in my opinion, is razor sharp response compared. I mean, this is the biggest dynamic change um, between the arms outside of like range of adjustment you get or range of caster you can adjust. It just makes the car feel super sharp right off a tip in or at all those corrective points through the steering arc when you're making it. You're, you're, you're making those changes, the steering angle, but also like the load and shift of the suspension. Things are squirming and trying to move around there and they just can't do it with these. And you really feel it from the driver's seat when you're actually at the helm pushing the limit a little bit or just enjoying a, a casual cruise. Big difference in that tip in and steering response between race and street. When our, our Z kit, for instance, is installed, you get a range on the street version of minus 0.1 degree, that's going to the positive, to negative 3.9 degrees of camber adjustment, okay, in one arm. In the race version, you can get up to pause, you know, in the positive direction, negative 0.9 degree, down to negative 4.7 degrees. So if you're looking for uh, a lot of camber for a very sticky tire, your application, or maybe a look, there you go, street versus race on these arms. This is a street configured arm and I went ahead and just set this one like the max extended length to give you an idea of what it can do uh, range wise there. So if you see, this is actually longer than the factory arm I've got here. This is a new Z <coughs> arm and um, very similar in style, very lightweight, both forged aluminum. Uh, you get a greasable ball joint with our arms in either configuration, but you get the ability with you get the ability with the uh, street ends to adjust for camber. So we, we don't rock the adjustment with like one leg longer or shorter than the other in this. We collapse them all the way, all the way butted up when we put them into the vehicle. And then we adjust equal turns pretty much on each to get our camber position out uh, on the wheel where we want. You may be able to fine tune that a hair, but we don't recommend side loading or trying to rock the arm much to, to adjust caster heavily in the street configuration. If you want more range or ability to do that, then our race arms will actually allow a swivel off center on the heim joint, it's kind of the other cool feature, and you can really rock these further if you're trying to dial in caster. Or maybe you got a car that's been like whacked or found a ditch at one point. Sometimes we've found some Zs like that in our time. Um, in that configuration, this will give you more range to get it back true and straight so you don't have a cross caster scenario that causes pull, 
um, maybe try and get a car to run better like like it should so really nice uh, feature there very easy bolt on um, again collapsed all the way just follow the guide set as you need and then you're just going to lock these things down lock this jam nut down every kit is going to come complete with what you need for the front end on your vehicle with uh, the associated joints and hardware if you need extra fasteners for a power steering reservoir or something that's going to clear where this extra material kind of swings past into the wheel well even loctite you're going to get everything you need you'll also probably see one of these things in your package this is a nice little thank you from our guys and it's a link to our digital our digital install guides been working hard to digitize much of our tech related to installs through the years and we now host all those on every product listing but if you've bought some things from us and you want to get to your guide, just scan this QR code and log in to the link it takes you to, and you'll land directly at the page that has just your guides. So if you've bought one item, it'll have your guide there. If you've bought 100 items, have your 100 guides there, maybe if they're written. But you won't have all of the other guides for all the other models that you know don't matter to you. Uh, you can still find those products, uh, guides typically on the listing. We keep them updated. If there's a newer version that's come out, it'll be hosted on the listing and also updated here for you. So uh, always be on the lookout for that or check at the bottom of the listing if somehow you've lost or don't, don't have one, but we do include that with every kit. So uh, Z1's forged front upper control arms, double adjustable, options for street, options for race, uh, way easier to install. We really tried to take away what our engineers set out and they said, we want top performance, top quality, and we still want to freaking exceptional value on these products. So that's what we did. Instead of tooling up and clamping and build each time, we tooled up and we punched a bunch into shape. Then we just finished machine them. It cuts the cost a lot. You guys get to save, you get all the adjustment, all the range, great performance you're looking for. And uh, you know we try and keep these in stock and ready to go. If you have questions on it, you're trying to figure out what's the right thing for me, do I need street, do I need race? What do I need for the rear? Just reach out to our guys. Our team is here, they're enthusiasts just like you except they live and breathe this stuff. So if you're not so sure, no biggie, no biggie. We were there at one point too, but reach out to us. Our team is happy to help you by email or call and uh, they can set you up for success no matter your need. Thanks guys.